put my going crazy Better than LAX with so much water like the Navy Baby, I'm a player, you can never ever play me I'll be winning every game, you can never ever change me Yo, what's good guys? It's Steven. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit more of a different video than I normally do. In today's video, I'm actually not going to be doing any sort of breakdown or tutorial. But instead, I'm going to be giving you guys a look on what it's been like to be in the music industry for just over a year now. And all the changes in my life that have come from it. And then after that, I'm going to give my best three tips to you guys. So you guys can replicate what I've done in just over a year. So backtrack just over a year ago, I had actually just joined Splitmind. And after half bro me on I was just trying to get the grasp of everything as some of you guys may know I started doing YouTube tutorials on the split mind channel I still actually had the infamous squeaker voice yo what's up guys I'm Steven and uh, today I'm gonna making a beat for Drake and at that point I really didn't have much connects in the industry and my social medias were lacking I had like just over 800 followers on Instagram and probably like a hundred on Twitter and then fast forward to just over a year I actually turned 15 in November of last year and then this past month in June I actually finished my freshman year of high school I actually got a bunch of fire records out currently just to name some of them go to hell by Jay Critch I actually did that with Ronnie J and half I actually just produced on Eladio Carrion's new tape. I produced a song called Meet Us. And then I also have a shorty shorty snippet going viral on TikTok right now. And then lastly, a bunch of crazy unreleased records that I hope to drop in the next year. And then other than that, I've been in the studio with people like Trevor Daniel, Warhol, Cousin Stiz, a bunch of super fire producers. And then as of right now, I'm actually making a good amount of money from my drum fight kits. So as always, I really appreciate anyone that supports me or buys my kits. I'm also going to be in LA majority of the summer at the Split Mind house with half and the rest of the guys. Another super cool thing that happened to me pretty recently was I actually got the co-sign from the man himself, Wheezy. So for those of you who follow me on my Instagram, which if you don't, be sure to, you probably saw that I just dropped my recent sample library, the extraterrestrial sample library. And shortly after I dropped that kit, I was actually on the phone with my good friend Pilgrim and uh, I got the notification that Wheezy commented on my post and liked it. After that, the phone started blowing up. I got a bunch of texts and calls about it so yeah definitely a super cool moment to get recognition from someone like Wheezy and then as I've said before I really appreciate anyone that supports me at all I really wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys so if you guys are watching this video and you're in the same position that I was just over a year ago here are the three best tips that I would give to you guys so that you guys can start getting your foot into the industry my first tip would be to find a good group of people that you like working with and to stick with them so if you're trying to get your foot in the door the easiest way to do it would actually be to do it with other people by your side having good people around you in an environment where everyone's just making plays for each other back and forth can actually take you a really long way my next tip would be to build a brand on social media and to not just be a complete ghost I know for some reason a lot of producers are scared to put themselves out on social media but I really can't express to you guys how important this is stuff like updating your fans on what you're up to and what you're doing and then also just dropping sound kits doing live streams working with your followers all that can make a really big difference on your reputation in the industry and then my last tip that I would give to you guys is to not worry about placements or comparing yourself to other people that might be gaining more placements than you are so when I say that what I really mean by it is that if you don't have any released or unreleased records right now I would say really just don't even stress about it because at the end of the day everyone has a different timeline for this stuff and there's always a chance that you probably have a bunch of songs that you don't even really know about so I would really just say focus on making music and building your brand along with other people at your level and then the placements will eventually come so that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you guys took a little bit of inspiration for my recap of the last year and then hopefully you guys also learned a thing or two from me sharing some of the tips and advice that I've been given if you guys want to support me and the team be sure to leave a like and subscribe on this video also be sure to follow my social media there's going to be links in the description and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day wherever you're watching peace